again and welcome to another helping of Mr. H's Art Pot. You join me today up on Hunter's Hill, which is in Rattington, Lancashire, where I've come out for a, a little bit of a drive in the new old Jalopa. Yes, I've uh, finally got my wheels back and I'm, uh, I'm out and about. Now, as many of you know, I've made vi uh, videos from my old Jalopa, which is now sadly awaiting scrap to be scrapped. I'm doing a bit of salvage work on it at the moment because some of the parts out of that vehicle will actually go in this one. I've opted for a Ford KA, a little 1.3. Now my Fiesta was a 1.3 and as I said a lot of the parts out of the Fiesta can be transferred over to this Ford KA. Now I'm not really one for big cars and powerful cars, I'm not really, really bothered about that as long as it can get me and the girls out and about and we can potter about and uh, go places that'll do me. Now I've got a real bargain with this uh, particular vehicle I think because it's only got 19,000 miles on the clock and for an 07 plate that's pretty good. Uh, it's got a ZTEC engine in it which is another step up from the Enduro E engine in the old Fiesta and uh, as I say I'm quite pleased with my purchase you know. Now the only thing I've had to do, I've had to wait a little while because it was coming towards the end of the month when I decided I would buy this uh, vehicle and as anybody knows now who's bought a vehicle recently, tax discs they no longer exist and you can no longer transfer the tax from one vehicle to another. You must re-tax a vehicle even if it's got like 11 months on it and then it gets refunded to the previous owner. Now a little bit of a scam that um, you know the powers that be are doing is if you buy the vehicle at the end of the month, you'll still get charged for the whole month, even though you've not been driving in it. So that's a little bit of a con, so if you can, always try and buy a vehicle and tax it from the first of the month like I did. At midnight, I was online and I was taxing this one, so I got the full uh, whack out of it. So, yeah, you know, I'll be out and about with you guys now, you know, I can go out and about once again. Do a little bit of metal detecting, do a little bit of... Uh, walking and a bit of mooching and I'm looking forward to it. Now, it is a shame that I've had to let me old vehicle go, I'll just uh, lament on that a little bit because I had that car for 12 years, you know, it was a W reg and I knew every little nut and bolt on it. I could tell you even the production line it rolled off in Germany, I knew that much about it. So it was like saying goodbye to an old friend really and it's breaking me out, stripping bits out of it to be honest because I think well, I put this in, I put that in, I put it in with love, if I'm honest, as you always do with your first car. That doesn't mean to say that this vehicle won't serve me just as well, and I'll get to know its little uh, ways. But yeah, I'm uh, I'm really pleased to be back on the road, as you can tell. I mean, uh, it gave up the ghost on me, if I'm honest, my old car, 12 months ago when I was picking up my good lady wife from a works do. Um, if you've been out there, up in Leyland, and uh, I went picking her up, it was a night of, uh, of problems really because when I dropped her off and I were coming back some idiot nearly swiped me out. So I was thinking oh great what more can go wrong anyway. I went out to pick her up, coming back, next thing I know there's uh, white smoke coming from under my bonnet, white smoke coming out the tailpipe and uh, loss of power so I quickly managed to get out of the middle lane over into the uh, earth shoulder there near Churn at Richard services. I didn't quite make it onto the services. And uh, I had to wait at the RAC. You can see what happened in that video. Now I'll put a link up to it up here. And it, and although I put it through the garage and I got it made right, it just wasn't uh, it just wasn't the same vehicle. I could tell, you know, it was it was on its last legs. Here, if I'm being honest. So I've had a good run out of that one, and uh, it will hurt me a little bit sending it to the scrapyard. But there you go. That's life, isn't it? I'm sorry mum, I know uh, you bought it man, I've tried to keep it on road but I'm sure you wouldn't want me spending you know, hundreds and hundreds of pounds on it which is what I was doing really, near enough every time I went out something else would go wrong with it and it was a garage bill and as we all know you get screwed on the um, the labour charges don't you, you know I do quite a little bit of uh, work on my vehicles myself, bits as I can you know I service them myself, oil change etc but there's some things when it comes to engine you know, and things have to be lifted out and clutch plates changed and that, you can't do them. Not without a, a garage and a, a hoist and all that carry on. Anyway, what have I got in store for you in future? Well, like I said uh, in a previous video, I've been scouting out a few places up on Angles Ark. You know, a place called Wilderswood. I'll be um, going and having a little loot round there, I'll be taking the girls with me. 
what I need to now do is get this kitted out because obviously I don't want a Labrador after she's been in some smelly water going all over my nice new leather seats. This tends to be an high-end uh, model of the car to be honest. It's got quite a, a bit in it, all gizmos and gadgets. Although it will have done, you know, technology bounces on, doesn't it? Especially from when, uh, when I had my first car. So, that's it really. Like I said, it was just a, a quick uh, video to introduce the new old Jalopy. But uh, let's take a little look at Mr H buying his vehicle, shall we? She'll go 300 hectares on a single tank of kerosene. What country is this car from? It no longer exists, but take her for a test drive and you'll agree. Zagreb Ebnim Zlotik Diev. Put it in H!